So here we are leading into Holy Week and throughout this week we're going to be looking at different characters who were part of the journey of Jesus to the cross. People who would have been probably in today's terms been in the headlines. In today's character we're looking at Malchus, the high priest servant who plays a small part but yet is a very important person and would have been very well known. And the question that comes to my mind today is, you know, in that environment, what was Malchus expecting? Here he was being sent in with Judas, the informant, you know, with the guards and the, all the torches that were being brought in. There was a lot of energy around that. And so what was he expecting? I suspect he was expecting some excitement. Um, he might have been expecting a little bit of violence. He might have even been expecting, oh, I'm going to get a bit of recognition for this, you know, because I'm a really important person. But like with all encounters with Jesus, he got the unexpected. Because here he was, coming in with power, and the unexpected was he was overpowered. We read in John 18, 4 to 6, where it says, Jesus knew what was going to happen. He realized, he stepped forward into that group and said, who are you looking for? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. And he says those powerful words, three words, I am he, and they all fell to the ground. He might have been expecting himself to exert the violence, yet he became a victim of violence when his ear got cut off by Peter. And at that moment, he might have expected just to be left, despised, <laughs> injured, disabled. But yet what he received was the healing of Jesus. I am he. In Deuteronomy 32, 39, we read this. Don't you understand I am the only God. There are no others. I am the one who takes life and gives it again. I punished you with suffering, but now I will heal you, and nothing can stop me. I wonder what you're expecting from your encounter with Jesus today. What if we come to Jesus and we pray, believing that there is no other God, that we're believing in his power, that brings life from death and healing from woundedness, an irresistible power. Let's be open today to an encounter with Jesus that brings the unexpected. <laughs>